some of the interesting disruptive technologies uh, from the internet has for decades changed other businesses in the real world, so to speak. If you don't remember, maybe it's even Skype once back in the day was sort of controversial and mobile phone companies tried to stop Skype. If you remember, today Skype is, oh, it is, Skype is great. And when we see new disruptive technologies coming along, like blockchain, we, we've seen that the Bitcoin blockchain can offer new mechanisms like value transforming, uh, sorry, value, tra value transferring or time snapping. Um, we don't really know yet how that will change the world. But if we look at other similar type of peer-to-peer -peer and disruptive technologies, we've seen that they have changed the world considerably. That's, that's why it's a good reason to look at these new technologies when they're in sort of their, their infancy. So you're more or less ready for them when they start to really disrupt uh, businesses in the world. Well, any kind of business that handles sort of a, uh, IP, intellectual property, or trademarks, or uh, digital rights, or connections online, or uh, any kind of trading of assets, even if they're physical in the real world or digital, um, uh, law, the uh, areas of law, and um, well, any, in, any business that handles information in any kind uh, should look into this, because Bitcoin and blockchains are new kinds of information networks where you can timestamp and secure information in new ways, and that can benefit many companies.